Dave Williams, editor here with today's video. It's all about the Aprilia RSV4 RF RR RS RT RU RV RX RW RX. Going to be a little more blunt here. The suspension principles in these videos make your bike faster. Does it increase the power? No. It puts the power to the ground more efficiently and more effectively. You're never going to keep up with your buddy, much less catch him, much less pass him anywhere at the track or the road if his bike is set up better than yours. You just won't be able to have the confidence and put the bike where you need to and put the power to the ground, whether entering the corner, scrubbing speed, or putting the power to the ground, exiting the corner, if the suspension can't cope with it. It's the only way to go faster. You will go so much faster with proper suspension than you ever will sticking on a slip-on pipe hoping to get an extra five horsepower. It doesn't matter if you can't put the power to the ground. Here's a preview. My name is Dave Moss. I tune approximately 3,500 bikes per year. This is Two Click Sound. Now steal the microphone, microphone Like high side me. Like um. Which part? So you come in, you come over the lip, yeah. and then you Down. turn right, mm -hmm. and it compresses. Yeah, it compresses then it right uncompresses. Right? Before you get to the bridge, is it in? Where is it in that section? Like right, maybe the bottom portion of the corkscrew. Down here, rainy. Yeah. yeah. So as you. No, oh, I'm sorry. Like, like, right in the corkscrew. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when you come over the lip and it compresses and comes around, mm -hmm. it feels like the rear is going to swing on you. Yeah. What pressure's in the rear? Twenty-five uh, or twenty-seven. So the pressure's not an issue. No, because you're getting good grip. The tire's biting and wearing. Well, you're ready to go to track in a couple of weeks at Thunder Hill. Okay. Uh, I've had this set up before, but it doesn't feel right. I don't know how what they did. But... Okay, what year is it? Uh, 2016. 16? Yeah, it's how many much... miles on it? Uh, 19,000. Have you serviced the forks or the shark? Uh, no, not yet. Now, is this going back to the track? Yes. When? Uh, October. October? Yeah. But in the interim, it's all street? It's all street in the canyon. Okay, so how many miles are on it now? I've got 1,700. 1,700, so it's brand new. Mm -hmm. All right, and it's a 16? Yep. Okay. All right, so. So that's jumping up a little bit. All the miles at the track, what's it going to do to the oil? Kills it. Kill it. So, full coil service on a track bike is every eight to 10 track days. Your front end's way stiffer than the rear. So do you want the front to match the rear for the road? For a balance, yeah. Okay. So the, the owner's not here. He's going to take his place. He's a little lighter overall. Rider's weight is 200. Complaining about braking and it diving and just collapsing underneath him, so. How close is that to bottom? Bottom is five millimeters up, so it's about 15 millimeters away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eleven, two, three, twelve, fourteen. How aggressive is he? Um, he's not super aggressive, but um, he, 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 can, he can... He can move, yeah. move along. There we go, that's much better. A 17, okay, feet up. And then how many miles? About 1,600. Okay, so it's still brand new. How aggressive are you with it? Does it go to the track? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to um, Spring Mountain. Okay. Next week. Next week? Yeah. Great track. That's going to be a ton of fun. Okay. Off you get. 30. Now, do you want this set for track or street? For the track. For the track. Okay. If you go deeper than that, you need to take a 17 millimeter wrench with you or a socket and then add one turn clockwise on each preload adjuster 
because your ability is getting better than the setting. All right, now, this is not gonna be compliant. You understand that? Right. So when you initiate into the handlebars, it's gonna go right there, right now, because this is a track setup. So how far have you got to ride home? We'll see. Okay, so it's, it's not gonna hurt, yeah. but you're gonna feel every imperfection in the road. Right. Okay, yeah. as long as you understand that. Right. Yeah. How hard do you push it? Uh, it's still new, it's not that hard like yet, but I'm going to when I get in the canyons. Okay, yeah. where where do you ride? Um, 33, like Ojai, uh, sure. all in down there. Yeah. Oh, is much better. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hard not to know where that is, right? Yeah. yeah. So, one, two, three. I started tinkering things with the wheels when those wheels went on because they're lighter. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't, I was kind of starting to chase a problem and felt like kind of choppy in corners. So when you lose all that reciprocating mass, you're actually supposed to take a ton of preload out. Yeah. Oh, that I didn't know. Because when you've got to stop it, right? Right. Well, you, no, you don't. You've got to stop a carbon fiber rim, which is yeah. done. So at that point, the chassis is going to be, especially in the front, for braking, mm -hmm. way too stiff. Okay. And so what you were getting was chatter. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going feeling. in. I didn't realize it was preload. That was going yeah. to uh, rebound rolling. Oh, okay. On that chain. Dave, how you doing on scheduling? You I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to keep. I see you're you're pretty good. You're pretty spot on as far as these guys. Yeah, this guy who. Hey, Dave, I just wanted to check Boogie, in. You got Boogie, all right. He's, He's done. Care. Yeah, you took care of Boogie. All right, are you on the list? Yeah, for 320. 320. 320. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Check out the full video at DaveMossTuning.com. Schedule a remote tuning appointment for you and your bike with Dave via text, email, Facebook, etc. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemosstuning.com.